Hi everyone, what I'm about to show you will really change uh, your quiz setups uh, for future testing or for future assessments. Okay, so let me show you what uh, the current quiz looks like. So here I have an ICT quiz. Okay, if I look at the quiz, you'll see all my questions here on my right. You'll see from one till a hundred. And what I've done here is I've added some description questions with uh, in between. Okay, just to provide some uh, headings for the categories um, for the questions. Okay, so if you look at the questions, you'll see that there's my heading search engines. And these questions are all related to search engines. Then I have computer viruses. And these questions are all related to computer viruses. And what I've done is uh, if we go into the question bank, You'll see within the question bank, I have two quest uh, different question uh, categories, but in the one category, I have all the description questions. Okay. Um, and this is what I've done previously. So just to provide headings for that uh, sections. Okay. But what I'm about to show you is that a new plugin that splits the questions per section. Okay. So let me show you how this is done. Let's go to our Moodle's plugin directory. So we'll tap in Moodle, press enter, go to moodle.org, uh, click on plugins, and then type in sections here. Click on certs, and then scroll down and you'll see marks per section here. Okay, let's click on that, and then let's download it. So we'll download the latest version and you'll see it's uh, marks per section and it's related to quiz marks per section. Okay, it's downloaded. Let's go back to our model platform. I'll close this and I'll go to site administration. So I'll close this as well. Click on site administration and then click on plugins. Click on install plugins and then I'll drag this to the upload space here. I'll click on install plugins from zipped file and then click on continue. I'll go through the whole installation process and here I'll click on continue again. Let's close this. Okay, so then I'll upgrade my model database. Now I'll click on this and here I click on continue. Okay, so once the plugin is installed, let's go to home and let's go to my course. And now within my quiz, I can click on my quiz, click on questions. Remember, this is search engines. So let's remove that. Yes, I want to remove it. Okay. So now you'll see this pencil icon here. I'll click on that and I'll type in here search engine. And I'll press enter on my keyboard. So this becomes now my header. Okay. Uh, I'll search for the second uh, section here. This is computer viruses. So I'll remove that by clicking on the bin icon. And then, yes, I want to remove it. So remember, it's here computer viruses. Then I'll split this section here. So this becomes a new page. But then where it says add, I'll click on add and you'll see a new topic here appears. Okay. And I'll click on add new section heading. Okay. And now I can type, this is virus. Or I can specify it's viruses. Okay. Press enter. So now I have two headings, search engines, viruses. I can create a third one. There's PowerPoint. Okay. So I'll first remove that. And then where it says PowerPoint, a crop picture, I'll split that two pages here. So it, this becomes page three. Click on add and then add new section heading. And this relates to PowerPoint. I'll press enter on my keyboard. Okay. So let's do one more. So there's email. I can split it here, add my new heading, I 
scroll down and then this will become email press enter and now I can remove this yes okay so let's do one more so there's word I'll split this section it becomes page 5 I'll add a new section heading and then I'll call this word let's make this MS Word okay press enter I just saw one more there's collaborative tools so let's split this section here and I'll add a heading here as well okay so let's press enter okay so let's stop there now when we go to quiz again and I preview the quiz if I open the drawer now you'll see it's nicely split into these different sections so yeah I have search engines I have viruses PowerPoint email collaborative tools and then ms word and i can split this further okay so nicely split up uh, in different sections but that's not all okay so let's close this now when i go to my reporting you'll see that it's also split up in my reporting as well okay so if i go now to go back to my course the next step is to test this new feature so I'll log in as a student and then do some questions within the quiz and you'll see what happens within the gradebook. So let's log out and log back in as a student. I'll click on my courses as a student then click on ICT for all and here you'll see the quiz so the student clicks on the quiz attempts the quiz and then you'll see here these are all the sections that we've divided it into okay so let's select some questions some answers here let's check this that's incorrect let's check that I'm just selecting answers randomly here. Okay, so now once I click on next page, You'll see immediately uh, we go to the next section. So let's check this. Let's see what happens in the draw. You'll see here in search engines I have one, two, three, four questions incorrect these are partially correct then we have in viruses we have four questions incorrect uh, let's do the rest so I'll check here check so the student sees sees the topics or the sections that he the scoring of his uh, particular questions within that uh, heading or in that section and you'll see once we look in the grade book, uh, you'll see how we can actually see the grades per section. And this is really neat. You as a teacher had to figure out uh, where uh, the actual marks of the students are, were. And, um, and that became very hard. Then you have to manually check 
each topic and see where the students are struggling in and then provide more um, support on that particular topic but here you can you, you can even see um, how the students are doing within that particular topic or section okay so that's about it so let's hand in this I'll finish this attempt Okay, so here you'll see search engine, viruses, PowerPoint, there's email collaborative tool. Okay, so I'll finish this, submit all and finish, and then submit all and finish. Okay, so here you'll see a breakdown, uh, and then the breakdown of this. Okay, so let's go back. So now when students click on grades, you will see there's my functional quiz. Uh, there's my marks I've obtained, my marks I've obtained. Okay, so let's log out as a student and log back in as a teacher. I'll go to that particular course. Let's cancel this. Home. Go to ICT skills. Um, I can see now the results. I can click on results. And here I can see that uh, there's Andy. He just did the quiz. But here it's broken down into questions. Now, so within the results, I can now click on grades and then select marks per section. Once I've selected that, you'll see, I can now see in viruses or search engines or PowerPoint or email, the sections that I've set up, I can now see the marks that the student obtained within that particular section. And this is really neat. Uh, before this, you had to look at each question and see in which question uh, the student loses uh, marks. But here now, you can see the actual section and the marks within that particular section. For me, this is really a game changer because now I can see uh, where my students um, need support uh, within each of these uh, sections. Okay, that is it. I really hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe. Uh, hit the bell icon for further videos on my channel.